and hope that you're having a fabulous day and today I'm doing some free reading so I'm looking to promote my special that I have coming up from July 12th through to the 16th it's only $45 for a 30 minute zoom uh, reading and we're specifically using my tarot cards now if you can't hear me that great it's because somebody has a chainsaw or something here and uh, my headphones aren't charged up and really I just today I just don't feel like bothering <laughs> and I like being outside so if you'd like a message card full just say yes and we'll do that for you so if you'd like to book a reading of course you can inbox me you can email me robinsealing at gmail.com but the best way to do it is going through my booking site so if you go onto robinsealing.com and click book online you're gonna see my scheduling system there and uh, so what you do is you pay and then you'll get an email with a zoom link and it just makes my life so much easier I had someone having an issue that was having an issue with my booking link and um, it a lot of things have been acting really wonky lately so again if you have an issue just let me know and then and we'll we'll book through me otherwise if you can access that that would be fabulous okay so just either through my site or hit my booking link all right Bonnie says yes please okay so the Sun card for you <laughs> and again apologies for the background noise here so first thing that we know about the Sun Bonnie feel free to share what you already know about the Sun is it says um, angel of happiness of course these are angel tarot cards uh, because they they act a little bit differently than the original tarot but it's still I find that the angel ones have more positivity so that's why I use these so um, because some of the other tarot decks can have more I find like I want to say darkness but intensity to them whereas these are really gentle and soft and because I can use my other abilities I like to use these so that being said that this is a perfect example, Bonnie, of you and how it's about putting a, that you have a way of putting a gentle spin on things. For instance, I know you like to save cats and things like that, and so do I, which is funny. And it's talking about, yes, like this ability to want to save others and your ability to want to care for others. Sun is one of the best cards to get. Yes, it is. And a lot of it represents our attitude. It's our ability. For me last night when I was teaching my meditation class I attracted some really awesome chicks and it made me really happy because I was feeling a lot of energy before we came on um, to the class because often when before we do any type of healing we're gonna feel a lot of energy because we're gonna feel a lot better afterwards but when I got into the class like when I was actually able to be there with these wonderful humans I was like oh my god like this is why I do what I do it's so powerful and um, yeah it's just a gift that keeps on giving that that keeps coming up so Bonnie this represents your energy of your ability to want to just really care for others and help others so that's kind of the message is especially when it comes to money to stop worrying about money because it's more about the exchange energy exchanges versus money okay keep that in mind very very important would anyone else like a message here while we're on um, so I do feel called in last night in our meditation class I felt called into teaching people about crystals so I am going to be doing a crystal class I'm just creating that right now and again I'm looking to make this affordable for people um, basically one of the ladies said last night that the program there was so much information from from the class that I was teaching that she was like this is amazing and I was only charging thirty five dollars for the class because I wanted to create content um, for people so that they have access access to classes and things like that especially if you're an empath so if you would like to purchase that meditation class let me know um, and get a copy of it um, but yeah it just feels like there's a lot of um, people out there right now that are empaths and they really really need guidance and I think feel free to share if you're this type of person like do you feel like you're in that weird space where you're up leveling and you're and you're finally ready to learn but maybe you don't know where to start so okay no one else would like a message I have other cards here feel like it's for somebody 
All right. I'm going to read them anyway. Uh, the Emperor, Angel of Wisdom, because maybe you're catching this on the replay and you really need a message. The Emperor, Angel of Wisdom, is talking about pain in our heart. And it's talking about the Emperor teaching us to keep going and keep being strong, even when, again, things get a little dark or dim. As I was just saying last night, how beautiful it was to have this like breakthrough last night in our class when I was feeling a lot of the heaviness ahead of time. So that's more what the Emperor is teaching us, that there's wisdom in overcoming and achieving. And that's technically what the father teaches or the grandfather teaches in uh, families. Um, traditionally, is they teach us about um, our ethics and how to work really hard and that sort of thing. And to, to just kind of let go of all the emotional stuff and just really, really bring it into... Um, what needs to be done and what you feel you're being called into okay I'm an empath and learned to, so much from you oh that's wonderful Bonnie thank you um, so I do have digital programs underneath my website so um, it's a nice way to learn if you're interested um, like things that I'm teaching without actually being in the class and you can you can learn at your own time okay so what happens is I give you the password after you purchase and then you then you have lifetime access to, to go into my site and, and get access to those classes when we do theta healing downloads um, I must say I go back into the classes where I was learning and I repeat a lot of the downloads because I notice as my energy shifts I want to go back and learn so I actually just inbox someone who has taken my last like four or five programs we've been working together a lot excuse me and I asked her if she would like the passwords to the program so that she doesn't have to store all these videos and go back to them that she can just go onto my site and pop in the password and, and get access so that um, it's like this internal thing I have going on instead of like it becoming your your responsibility so these are things I'm just working on okay so again if you're hopping on you'd like a message just let me know I can't wait to do my new moon reading. I am actually really interested in hearing what's going to come up. The Hanged Man, Angel of Prophecy. So again, if you're interested in learning about crystals, let me know. Um, really important for empaths, I think. Angel of Prophecy. Okay, so this is teaching us kind of everything I was just saying. That I think we go through periods of time where, I don't know, it might be like taking time off for you and then you have to go back to work and it's just that feeling of like, oh, I don't want to take time off because then maybe you're not getting paid for your time off, things like that. I mean, when you're self-employed, that definitely relates to me. Um, but it's like we come back to work when we've been off more productive. We make more money. We have more energy. We have a different perspective when we come back. And that's what the hanged man teaches us, that we have to take care of ourselves because our whole energy will shift when we do that. For instance, if you don't do a meditation and you want to learn how to do meditations, especially if you're an empath, then purchase the class from me, okay? Add that into your practice. But if you don't do that, you're going to find that a lot of the same things keep happening, okay? So this is teaching us, listen to the birds there. Um... It's about learning more about signs and symbols and, and taking time to back up to observe things. That was a big part of class. Who's my new love around me? Well, the, the birds definitely say that there's luck on your side. But that's more of a, a reading that you should purchase for next week if you're looking to get my deal, Bonnie. Um, King of Pentacles, Generosity. Yes. This makes so much sense. This is talking about Capricorn. And uh, our full moon that we just had uh, was in Gemini. And before that, we had um, Capricorn energy. I feel like that's right. Anyway, we had a recent Capricorn um, energy. And that was about um, finances and money and things like that. So this is telling us that we might be too rigid and that we might need to have more fun. And I know for myself, I'm like solid into work mode right now. Um, because I just took some time off and I'm just like so happy about getting back into the things that I love to do um, and it, I love to be enthusiastic and passionate about what I'm doing and not just like hauling my tushy around all right Bonnie sounds good so yes you can go through my booking link and again if you have an issue with that reach out
Okay. What happened to me when I tried to check out my booking link, I had to scroll up. It was like a blank page, but once I scrolled up, it was fine, as I said, positioning. So yeah, it's just about coming back into our, our right headspace, it feels like, and just um, don't procrastinate, okay? Really just keep on with the, with the priorities and the projects that you have right now, especially where we're going to be coming into that new moon. We want to make sure that we know exactly kind of where we are, or at least have a rough idea so that we can, can keep transitioning through the things that are um, blocking us and, and not feel like we're letting things build up um, to the point where we end up with health issues or um, pain in our hearts, okay? Because that was kind of coming up, pain in the heart. And if you're hopping on and you'd like a message, let me know. King of Wands, this is my favorite card. This is Aries. Right away, there might be somebody that's going to be hopping on that might have a bit of a breathing issue. When I say breathing issue, that could be part of anxiety. Um, and also, if you're interested in natural products for healing, um, I can help you with that. I have lots of stuff that I'm making that are really helpful. So even if you're just asking for a recommendation, you don't want anything, I don't mind helping you. At least I can show you what I have going on before um, my store's created. So leadership is saying that it's time to um, have more faith and trust, which the King of Wands teaches us. So that's a big part of the meditation class that I'm, that I'm now selling. Um, and then the other portion of it is also to, as we were just talking about, to observe and step back. For instance, that crow is going nuts right now. And the crows represent luck. A lot of people don't know that when we hear crows and they're getting so loud. Um, they're speaking to us, right? It's saying that, like, good things are happening to you, so you don't really need to stress and worry. Don't create your own fears, okay? A lot of times we get into our head about things and we create our own blocks, so... It's funny, I, I posted a, a, all right, I hear you, buddy. <laughs> I posted something, I think it was yesterday, about my tarot special, and, and the lady, it's like an old witchy um, people, witchy people, um, saying, you know that a lot of this is your own fault. And then the other lady says, bitch, you better reshuffle. I don't know why I find that so funny, because it's like, it's kind of the running joke, right? Like, we have to find balance with judging ourselves and then like and shifting our energy, right? Yes, okay, I have to be accountable and responsible, blah, blah, blah. But don't bring yourself down. Raise your vibration up. Be like, okay, I'm proud of myself because I've done this and that. Now it's time for me to move forward. So in our meditation class, we discuss this a lot, that meditation, some people are scared to do meditation because they start to get answers and they start to get um, messages that are really, really powerful, whether it's related to somebody else or themselves on what they need to do. Not everybody wants to look at what they need to do, but the information is always accessible within yourself and it's learning how to access that information and not be afraid of it. So who doesn't want to um, change? right? We think we want to stay in our comfort zone, but deep down we want the rewards of what it, of, of change. So that's something to consider today that the Aries energy is teaching us to um, obviously be patient and, and trust, but at the same time, don't push yourself down, bring your energy up, okay? So these are things I'm going to start teaching more of in little like kind of mini classes to help people really rediscover um, themselves again because I think a lot of people are feeling a bit off their track or off their path right now and we need more joy and, and that happy medicine. All right thanks so much for watching. Can't wait to do some readings on you guys. Bye for now.